Think back to your favorite childhood toy. Maybe it was a Barbie or Lego blocks or a toy car. They're all objects that are simple enough to be played with intuitively. It's not like kids need an instruction manual to figure out how they work. But for all that simplicity, there's a complex array of thought that goes into their design. A toy designer's mind has to consider whether a toy provides a solution to a problem, whether it's marketable, is it educational, and crucially, is it fun? Our two guests today both work in the world of design. One is the critic Alexandra Lang, whose latest book is The Design of Childhood, How the Material World Shapes Independent Kids. I mean, we've all seen a child sitting in a pile of blocks and playing by themselves for hours. There's this educational aspect to it, but there's also just the beauty of children and imagination and that open-endedness that comes with them. We'll also be hearing from Associate Professor of Product Design at the University of Minnesota, Barry Kudrowitz. He's interested in how creativity is assessed, taught and learned. And he's taught toy design for over 10 years. When we're dealing with older kids, it might be driven more by market and things that are popular brands or trends, different properties. And so I feel like at some point things flip from being more like developmental need driven to market driven. Designers aren't necessarily saying, what do teens need right now? But we do that for babies. Hi, I'm Sana Kadar, and for this episode, I'm handing the All in the Mind toy box over to our producer, Diane Dean. She started by asking author Alexandra Lang what sparked her interest in childhood design. The germ of the book really started when I had my first child 12 years ago now. And when I was home on maternity leave, you know, all of these packages started coming to me. You know, people said, oh, you need this car seat. Oh, you need these books, these blocks. And there were all of these new things coming into my house. And I suddenly realized that I didn't understand, you know, why these things, like why did all of the kids' clothes have little animals on them? Why this set of blocks as opposed to that set of blocks. And so I felt like I was home on maternity leave. I wasn't supposed to be working, but in fact, you know, the design critic's mind never turns off. And I really wanted to know the histories and the reason behind all of these new objects. So it was really a combination of my own new motherhood and the way my mind already worked as a critic. An important figure in psychology and design is Lillian Gilbreth. 